decorating using primitive folk art style that is characteristic of a historic or early Americana time period. typically using elements with muted colors and a rough and simple look to them. Decorating in the primitive style can incorporate either true antiques or contemporary folk art. These styles are associated with the houses, churches and government buildings of the period from about 1600 through the 19th century. Antiquing techniques used by primitive folk artists include tea or coffee staining and sanding down paint to create a worn, aged look. The style is sometimes referred to as country style. Several relatively distinct regional styles of colonial architecture are recognized in the United States. Primitive decorating often features a number of recurring themes and characters including primitive angels, barn stars, primitive crows, primitive dolls and rag dolls, salt box houses, sheep, willow trees, primitive wooden signs, and pottery. Building styles in the 13 colonies were influenced by techniques and styles from England, as well as traditions brought by settlers from other parts of Europe. In New England, 17th century colonial houses were built primarily from wood, following styles found in the southeastern counties of England. You can find so many old crocs and food tins at garage sales. Just for a few bucks. I never spend an antique price when I know I can eventually find them for a primitive price. Dutch colonial structures, built primarily in the Hudson River Valley, Long Island, and northern New Jersey, reflected construction styles from Holland and Flanders and used stone and brick more extensively than buildings in New England. Rough-hued mantles and beams create a great backdrop for other rustic styles as well as the red, white and blue designs of patriotic themes. Early buildings in some other areas of the United States reflect the architectural traditions of the colonial powers that controlled these regions.
The architectural style of Louisiana is identified as French colonial, while the Spanish colonial style evokes Renaissance and Baroque styles of Spain and Mexico. In the United States it is found in Florida, Louisiana, New Mexico, Texas, Arizona, and California. You can find hooked and braided rugs and punched tin lanterns. There are plenty of cottage-styled home accents for any primitive enthusiast to feel right at home. Family room, a hooked rug makes a great centerpiece in front of the fireplace. Gingham upholstery with hand crocheted pillows sets the ambience for your room. Blues and browns are great color choices and can be accentuated with touches of red or yellow. Kitchen. The possibilities for primitive elements in your kitchen can begin with accent pieces such as a weathered and rusted metal sculpture of a chicken or an old weather vane mounted on your wall or above the kitchen cabinets, oh yes. Don't forget the rooster. Bedroom. Decor such as quilts, throws, pillows and various styles of rugs. The colors typically used in these fabric patterns and designs will add a touch of warmth to your decor. Opt for an iron headboard and hand crocheted lace pillowcases to complement the wedding ring quilt at the foot of the bed. Foyer. The entrance into your home sets the expectation of what's to unfold as visitors enter your home. Greet them with a dried flower and herb wreath on your front door and a small area rug and wooden peg coat rack in the foyer to make them feel welcomed. The main focus you want to maintain whenever decorating your home is for it to be a genuine reflection of you and your family. Personal likes and interests should be prevalent in the items you select to become permanent pieces of your family history. Years from now, whenever you look at an object, memories of the times you and your family spent using it will flood back, so it's very important that you make sure each element in your decor is an authentic representation of your family and one you'll enjoy living with.